So, Salaam Alaikum, Brother Mujtaba. How are you doing, bro? Yeah, Salaam Alaikum. How are you, inshallah? Well, well, uh, I'm doing good, man. Alhamdulillah. Uh, um, sorry, uh, brothers. Uh, as a Muslim, uh, converted Muslim, I believe that uh, before we uh, you know, debate uh, non-Muslims and try to uh, teach them that their religion is wrong, so we have to clear our own religion from um, all misinterpretation and uh, fabricated um, you know, hadiths. Like the one for me that you were mentioning about um, that this um, many people go to heaven, the prophet said, um, <clears throat> it goes directly against Quran when chapter 46 verse 9 says that I am no different from the other messengers, nor do I know what will happen to me or to you. I only follow what is inspired to me. I am no more than a clear warner. So when Prophet Muhammad says himself that he, he doesn't know what will happen to himself nor to you, then he cannot. And there are many other verses that uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, says that I do not know the future. I do not know the, the unseen and so on. So Except what Allah has told him, yeah. Yes, but the thing is that he said, I do not know what will happen to me, nor do I know what will happen to you. This is very clear. And um, unfortunately, I believe that, um, um, uh, what is it, um, extremist Muslims are uh, the greatest enemies of Islam. And we have to, uh, you know, uh, first, uh, what we have to do is to fight them instead, um, you know, uh, trying to, to persuade uh, other people to uh, okay. you know, convert to Islam. Here, so, let's, let's, let's stop you real quick. I just, I'm, I'm getting a lot, my, my family is a really good family. Um, mm -hmm. And they're they're telling me a few things. So let's. Uh, so do you believe in the authentically narrated uh, example that we have from the Prophet Muhammad? Yes, Allah, I, Allah, yes, I believe uh, the hadiths that goes in line with Quran they are authentic. Like Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that um, uh, the pleasure you get in forgiveness you never get it in revenge. These types of hadiths oh, go in know, line with down. Quran. But I reject oh, hadith okay. that goes against Quran, definitely. Mm. Oh, so you, uh, you believe, though, that Christians can go to paradise, though, right? You said this before. Yeah, I believe that anybody who do good deeds, because Allah SWT says that uh, <clears throat> in Quran says that uh, th there are good people. Uh, <clears throat> chapter 3, verse 113, if you want, I can read for you. They talk about Christian and anyone, anyone, not even Christian, even non-Muslims, <clears throat> non-believers, <clears throat> He says that you Just read uh, it. Read it real quick. Read the exact thing, and then we'll we'll go. I, I don't want you to give your your uh, your preaching. No preaching. Just read it, and let's move on. Because I've got okay. two other people in the background. I got to bring up, and these are very important, close people to me, and I want to kind of get through this. All right. Okay. So, uh, chapter three, verse one hundred thirteen. Not all of them are <clears throat> alike. Of the people of the book, are a person that stand uh, for the right. They uh, rehearse the verse of God all night long, <clears throat> and they prostrate themselves in adoration. Next verse. They believe in God and the last day. <clears throat> they enjoin <clears throat> sorry, what is right and forbid what is wrong. And they hasten in emulation in all good works. They are in the ranks of uh, the righteous. Next verse. And whatever good they do, never will be it be removed from them. And Allah is knowing of the righteous. So it is not about only, as I said, uh, Christians or, and Jews. Anybody so hold on a second. Is, Let me yeah. stop you. Let me stop you. Thank you for reading that. Mm -hmm. Do you know, do you understand what people of the book this is talking about, right? Yes. Okay. People and it, the they pray in the middle of the night. It's salu. They, they pray. They do salah in the middle of the night. Do Jews and Christians today pray in the middle of the night? Okay, it's not about... Uh, uh, answer it, yes or no? No, uh, no I don't they know don't. Okay, okay. Uh, so... No, Bismillah, I'm going to mute you. Uh, yeah. Let me talk. All right. This is talking about people who convert to Islam from the people of the book. Muhammad ibn Ishaq, okay, and others including Al-Awfi, reported from Ibn Abbas, they said that these ayat were revealed about the clergy of the people of the scriptures who embraced Islam. They're not people who continue upon their kufr. Because let me, because I don't want you to take one verse out of context. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Whoever seeks a way other than Islam, it will never be accepted from him. 
and in the hereafter, they will be amongst the losers. So 100% to say that a Jew and a Christian who does not accept Islam, no matter how good deeds they do, if they do all of this other stuff that you think is good, Wallahi, I swear by Allah that they will be in the hell fire for all of eternity. That's your understanding? Okay. That's the okay. understanding of the scholars of Islam.